Hello everybody, welcome to episode 12 of the Hardcore Iron Man Reborn series. And before we get started with the video, I'm going to quickly go over a couple goals that I have recently. First off, I plan on using 10,000 bone bolts over at the Twisted Banshees, and from that I'm just hoping to gain a bunch of range experience, uh, cosmic runes, alkables, and last but not least, pure essence. With that pure essence, I'm going to be making a bunch of cosmic runes so I can charge orbs. And with those orbs, I'll be making battle staffs, getting some fantastic crafting XP, and some solid GP whenever I uh, alk everything when it's all said and done. On the side, I'm a little bit addicted to growing the giant seaweed underwater. It's amazing crafting XP that you can just passively do with a uh, farm run. And so I'm hoping to either get 99 crafting banked or the farming pet. You know, that's a side goal, you know, that's not like a big priority, but I am working on the constant seaweed runs for that. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the content. I've been doing quite a bit of underwater agility as of recent, and you know, I kind of want a little break. So what I am going to do, I'm going to work on my range by using 10,000 bone bolts over at the Twisted Banshees. So let's see how that works out and see what my range gets to. 50 right now, actually really close to 51. Finishing up Taibo One Eye Trio quest. Uh, actually it took me a little bit longer than anticipated, but oh well, here we go. Now we can fish some Karambwans and I'm actually gonna be doing that for some good old cooking XP. That's gonna be a very nice way to get up to 70 for the next part of the recipe for disaster quest the awawogi part finally finished this terrible task of mullinisks it is absolutely awful i've never been to this place before but i really hope i never have to come back but here we go 40 tasks completed 50 points 118 total because i did skip steel dragons and this is what came of it so quite unfortunate by the way it's super hot uh, because my air conditioning is currently broken so if you hear a fan in the background that's why and it is just too hot to silence so 60 range coming in over here at the Twisted Banshees we've got well we're pretty much close to 25 percent of the way through it's actually looking pretty good I'm excited to see the results here we go guys it's gonna be a pretty big achievement on the hardcore 25 mil total XP. Feels good. The long awaited level is here. Level 70 farming. We can now grow poison ivy bushes, which I believe is a hard diary for Artie or something. Or maybe it's Barak. I'm not sure. Medium clue! Mithril ore, close enough. After about an hour and a half, finally completed the regicide quest. Uh, a lot of unnecessary problems, but you know what? We got it. Uh, three quest points, some beautiful cash, and like 13.7k agility XP. But the reason I did this quest was because I have a hard clue from the Banshee grind that I'm currently doing, the 10,000 bone bolts that required that quest. So let's go ahead and knock out that, at least that step, hopefully the clue. Completed our second hard clue on the account. Come on, give me some black dehyde. No. Taibo Wana. Those are actually good scrolls, though, so I'm not going to complain. Good clue. Let's go back to Banshees. Hopefully, get another and be able to knock that one out as well. Got an easy casket from fishing some Karambwans. Got 65 fishing as well, but forgot to record that. Let's see what we get. Oh, Amy of Magic Trim. Nice. Another unique in the bank. And an Iron Full Helm trimmed. Wow, that's sick. Probably uh, my best easy clue. Decided it was finally a good time to get the Fermanic Trials quest out of the way. We actually did this with the girlfriend live on Twitch. So if you're interested in some good content, come check it out. Twitch.tv slash HypeBRS. Shameless plug. Bree getting all these levels up. Congratulations, Bree. And we did it. Quest completed. Time to jump for joy. Finishing up quest number two with the girlfriend. And... Corsair Curse quest completed. Two quest points, access to Corsair Co. And, yeah. Nice. 55 mining coming in. 
on our way to 60 or 61, whichever it is, for the Lunar Diplomacy Quest. I've got so much giant seaweed in the bank that I figured the best way to go about it would just be using the uh, the lunar spells instead of you know doing charter ships and just buying all the sand, throwing that in the furnace. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip all that. And we're just going to go straight to, well, I'm going to have to train some magic, but some super glass make. So I'm pretty excited for that. We found Anna. All right. Hey, thanks for the key. Don't know what this is used for. All right, and let's go ahead and put all the XP on smithing. And there we go. Tourist trap quest completed. We can now fletch darts for that amazing um, fletching XP. Sorry, mind went a little blank there. But let's go ahead and grab this medium clue. This is the real reason we did this quest right now. Although it will help me out having this done already before the desert treasure pre-quest grind. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. Open this casket. Pick up these rangers. Jagex, please be nice to me. Look at my clothes, dude. Look at these rags. Why? You always spite me. 65 range coming in here on the Twisted Banshees grind. Currently 5,400 bolts to go. Let's keep it going. We got our second hard clue casket from the Twisted Banshees grind. It's kind of funny, I'm over halfway done with the grind. And I've only gotten two hard clues that I could fully complete. So, let's go ahead and open this one up. This is the same thing I got earlier. What the fuck? I've done three hard clues and I already have a duplicate. Seriously? Lunar teleports? At least that's good. We got another hard clue casket. Hopefully, we can redeem ourselves from the last one. As you guys know, I got a duplicate Bandos full helm, so not too excited about that. <sighs> well, no. We've got two clue caskets here. I should have included the hard clue because I had all three in the inventory at once, but oh well. Here's the easy first. Oh, a unique iron plate body G. That's awesome. Medium. <gasps> yes, Zamrock page. Feels good. Finally, an actual good item. We're getting our 50th Slayer task at the moment. Slayer boosting, it seems pretty viable, you know, for lower level counts even 128 points at the moment it's gonna be our 50th task in a row and Dagnos what a beautiful task I'm gonna do this in the Zaya catacombs hopefully get some shards some totem pieces and uh, maybe even some medium clues 70 hit points coming in over at the twisted banshees currently at 66 range as well it's going pretty well We've got 4,475 bolts left Quite a grind. Potentially we'll get level 70, maybe even a little bit higher. So let's keep it on going. Finishing up the Shield of Erev quest. Did this one with my man Sean. It took so much longer than I thought it would because man logged out on me. So it turns out we weren't in the right place. This is where we finish off the quest. Shield of Erev. Uh, here we go. Finally. And now I can do the Heroes quest, which I most likely won't be doing with Sean because he made this thing last for an extra 30 minutes. So I've got about 240 Renars in the bank that I can make into prayer potions and I'm gonna do my task of Dagonauts in the catacombs so I'm probably gonna either pray flick or just flat out prayer uh, the entire time so I'm gonna need a good amount of prayer potions so I'm coming over here to Relica and basically I'm gonna to go to Waterbirth Island, pick up a bunch of snake grass, talk to this fella over here, Peter the Seer, my good man, and he will gladly take everything in our inventory to the bank. So that's gonna be my method for like 240. We are all ready for our Diagnost task, definitely. 236 prayer pots, and we also got 57 herb lore feels good. Went ahead and collected another good amount of pineapples so I can save up and do some some more ultra compost because I'm actually really low on the pineapples right now. I've got like 20 in the bank. So a bit unfortunate. So got the restock and gonna go mine some volcanic ash shortly. Finished up our task of Dagonos. Unfortunately we didn't get any medium clue scrolls but we did get the 50 task boost of 150 points. Now we're up to 278. 
Looking good. Can't wait for the 100. Got an easy casket from killing some goblins while I was slayer boosting. And Morton teleports. That's actually pretty good. Shaldar, please give me a task that is not metal dragons or molinesks. Or molinisks, whatever. Hey, there we go. I thought that was molinisk, but it's not. Thanks for my man ventriloquist. He reminded me that we could unlock the superior, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. The slayer point boosting is kind of paying off. Now it's time to go. Get this mirror shield. Go do another seaweed run. Look at that, guys. We got our very first superior on the account. Time to spec this boy out and get my first superior kill imbued heart incoming. First one. Okay. First nature runes and a lance of dime. I'll take it. Superior number two. And more nature runes. So I don't know how, but we've got three superiors this task, and I actually just called this one. It's like as soon as I said, please give me a superior. Boom. This dude falls down from the from the sky and graces me with his presence. Uncut Ruby. Uh, kind of missed the level, sort of. 50 Slayer, we can now kill Bloodvelds, which is going to be amazing. Whenever I get that Slayer task, I'm just going to do that in the Catacombs of Corinne. Kind of camp that one out in the safe spots with some range. Some good shit right there. Should have a good collection of blood runes. finished off the Iklarin's Little Helper quest so we could do this hard clue that I have in my bank. I actually should have brought it with me, but uh, it's no big deal. I'll just run and get it back real quick, but there we go. Quest completed, Amulet of Cat Speak, and some miscellaneous XP. Ooh, 72 woodcutting. Nice surprise level coming in there. Here's the hard clue casket that we mentioned in the previous clip. Really hoping for some black dragon hide. Hey, we got a black dragon hide body! And a Bando's Kite Shield. Hell yeah, that's sick. Two range upgrades recently. The Blue Dragon Hide Chaps, which I know isn't too big of an upgrade. And now I've got this Black Dragon Hide body I'll be able to equip very soon. I just got probably the luckiest task to get right now. Banshees. That's going to help a lot with my, uh, my grind that I'm already doing for the 10,000 bolts that I'm actually pretty close to wrapping up. I've got about 3,000 bolts left, so that'll definitely be enough to kill at least 134 of them. Had to complete the Fairy Tale Part 2 quest to be able to complete this uh, hard clue, but unfortunately the next step is a coordinate clue, but not just any. It is a coordinate clue in, well anytime you see these 24, 20 something, that's like 100% of the time in the wilderness, I'm pretty sure. So instant indication to drop. I actually checked it's in the rogues castle so not doing that. R.I.P. but at least we got this quest out of the way. Just mined 1500 volcanic ash. I was running low I only had like 80 or so left in the bank so this should last me for another couple weeks at least. I wish there was a uh, faster way to get it but you know it is what it is. Nine tasks completed. Let's get our tenth one. 117 trolls that's uh, that's all right. I want to show you guys something. Just past 10,000 giant seaweed in the bank. This is going to take me forever to use, and I don't know where I'm going to get all the buckets for the buckets of sand, but that grind is going to be the longest grind of my entire life. Doing a medium clue hunt today on stream for a bit of a change of pace, something different, and let's see if I can get these nice old green shoes. Hey, no we don't. We get a Ancient Cloak though, and a Blue Boater. I'll take it. Medium Casket number two of the stream for a lot of green, but uh, not the not the good kind of green I was looking for. Alright, we've got another Casket in the same exact place. I know it's been a, a long time. Long time no see. Armadillo page one. Hell yeah, that's a, a perfect page to add to the collection. Let's do it. Got another Medium Clue Casket over here. Hopefully the, uh, the beautiful view that RuneScape has to offer us this fantastic scenery can help us get some good loot and no not at all another medium clue casket coming in and a pink headband and some Morton teleports alright the uh, 
Teleports would be useful. This is a very colorful, unique. Another clue scroll finished up over here, and we get Piscarillus Banner and some Narda teleports. Nice. I was actually running low on those. I really like to use those. Forgot to record the opening of the casket, but here we go with the Master Scroll Book. That's actually a pretty cool drop. We'll uh, be sure and use that to stock up the teleports that we have in the bank and make it so we can, you know, have a little bit more bank space. Bank space is kind of tight at the moment. The big 7-0 range coming in. Now we can equip this handy dandy black dragon hide body. Look at us mismatching with the black dragon hide body. Blue dragon hide chaps and the adamant gloves. We have to fix the uh, the glove situation sometime soon. Finishing up the hero's quest right now. This is a uh, pretty big quest as far as uh, things that it helps unlock. You know, for one, I can charge glories. Uh, ooh, another smithing level. I'll take that. Also, I can buy the dragon battle axe if I so choose. Also, it's one quest closer to completing Recipe for Disaster and a hard clue in my bank that just so happens to be in the Kazari jungle. So I'm going to try to knock that one out and see if I can get some black dragon hide chaps or like god dehyde boots or something. It's been about 500k on ores over here. I'm going to be using these to hopefully get my smithing up to... Um, well, I know I'm going to get at least 50. That's what I need for the Legends quest. I may stop at that point, or I may just finish everything while I'm here. Uh, we'll see. Just finished up the last inventory of the gold ore that I'm doing. Uh, I decided I'll go ahead and knock out everything I have. So, we have... Well, we have one gold ore left bar okay so yeah we made like 1.3k or something like that and 53 smithing so pretty good we can definitely go ahead and start off the legends quest now here we are first charge glories on the account oh, feels so good feels amazing man let's go ahead and test these out see see if they're working all right yeah yeah it works there we go that should be the last one two herb lore levels just from finishing that quest pretty nice and now I think where's the oh there it is we've completed the legends quest and now we have four quest points access to the legends guild so I can go ahead and wrap up that hard clue also I can go ahead and purchase a legends cape wrong side there we go that's gonna be our cape of choice whenever we're doing Slayer from now on now for the real reason we finished off the Legends quest at the moment. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and throw that cape on. Man, it looks sick. We've got a hard clue casket. Let's see what we get. Hey, an ancient page one. We have one ancient page in the bank. Uh, let's go see if it's a duplicate. Oh, we don't even have an ancient page. I thought we did. And a hard clue scroll that required the completion, or at least starting, of the Fermanic Isles quest. So I decided to go ahead and finish it. Let's go ahead and put all the XP on hit points. Uh, yeah, I'll do that again. And free net is not held. And a bunch of XP. Let's take it. Fermanic Isles quest completed. Now we can wear this beautiful helmet. It's going to help a lot with training that's not on task. Well, actually, even with stuff that is on task at the moment. But... In the future, it'll help for stuff that's not on task. We got a hard clue casket here that we got from the Banshees. And one thing that was interesting about this one, I thought this clue was done for. I saw the coordinate clue, as it was started with a 23, so I was just assuming it was just done for. But I decided to go ahead and take a peek, and it ended up to be on this small penguin island, which I didn't even know existed. Like right beside Miscellanea, which is right here with this fairy ring. Anyway, point of the clip, hard clue. Uh, black dehyde body, I wish it was the chaps. Uh, aside from that, just standard alcohols. After a long while, here we have 70 cooking. Now we can go ahead and finish off the uh, recipe for disaster quest, aside from the final boss, since I don't have 175 quest points. Finished off the Awawoge part of the recipe for disaster quest. And if you will go ahead and please give me your rewards. Kind sir. Oh my god, this... Okay. Uh, and my cat just ran over here and unplugged my freaking keyboard, so I can't... Can't hold space now. Thank you. And now my computer's frozen. There we go. Now we've finished it. 10,000 cooking and agility. Nice. I didn't know we were going to get that. 
good little surprise right there. We can go ahead and upgrade our gloves in the Colonomancer's chest, and I'm going to go ahead and get started on the next part. The completion of freeing Sir Amic Vars has been done, and now we have the Dragon Gloves and this cool ass cutscene. Okay, so we need to pretty much kill the boss and we'll be done with the quest. But the only thing about that, I can't do it at the moment because you need 175 quest points to get to that point. So I'll need to quest a little bit more. I have 152 quest points after that. So I'll go ahead and do a little bit more, a little bit more questing so we can hopefully get some Barrows gloves pretty soon. 87 Hunter coming in over here on Fossil Island harvesting a herbivore real quick. We got another hard clue scroll from the Twisted Banshee grind. Last one before bed. Anything good? Finally completing the one small favor quest so that I can actually do another quest so I can catch monkfish. But here we go. 20k herbivore XP is going to be gained from these two lamps key ring so I can potentially save some bank space and let's go ahead and see if I get a level real quick hey we do 60 herb lore coming in nice uh, weapon poisons and use Nox fur so I guess that's something if we're gonna raid alright boys we have defeated the queen there we go 10,000 prayer and uh, I didn't see the mage XP but a decent amount right there 25k cash and some fishing XP too nice so it's 15k magic XP. I like how it abbreviates stuff in this one. They usually don't abbreviate XP. It's usually just experience. Anyway, it's kind of random. But two quest points. Uh, how many does that put us at? Ooh, 45 prayer. Pretty good. No other levels. And 156 quest points. Only 19 left. And we can complete recipe for disaster. Well, since I just need a bunch of quest points, I decided I'd go ahead and knock out the sheep herder quest. And man, this... This quest is so morbid. I hate it. You have to prod these six sheep into a pen, poison them, and burn their bones. I really <laughs> am not a big fan of this quest, but I'm a big fan of the four quest points that I now have. Now I just need 15 more. Shades of Morden quest been completed. 2k herblore crafting and three quest points. This quest was so painful. The Haunted Mine quest now completed 22,000 strength XP is actually pretty nice I don't know how this is I don't know what we do with this but I'll figure it out it took me like 45 minutes to complete this quest I had to run the whole course of the maze twice first time I forgot my chisel second time I didn't have the fungus because I didn't think I needed it but here we are about 45 maybe even 50 minutes later quest completed and we've got this nice old congratulations message here we go, 75 farming has finally been achieved on the hardcore, and that means we can finally grow magic trees. So I actually only have one magic seed in the bank, but I can go ahead and grow that at some point. Hell yeah. And we actually managed to get one more range level during the Twisted Banshees grind. 72 range coming in, actually a very good time, because this will probably be our last Banshee. So let's tally up everything and get to the bank. So after that really long grind of 10,000 bone bolts used at the Twisted Banshees, this is the loot we've got. And to keep note, uh, I didn't have the seeds in the inventory because I pretty much used them as I got them. Just because I figured the XP is just too good to go to waste, you know. I just, the XP opportunity is there, so I'm going to take it. So 16,000, well pretty much 17,000 pure essence. Uh, five pairs of these mystic gloves only one completed totem which was a bit unfortunate expected uh, like probably at least like three or four maybe even five but yeah a bit unfortunate but the alcables over here looking strong 27 air battle staffs, 64 battle staffs uh, here's the runes and everything six ancient shards and we're ending on 1943 kill count and I believe we started around 300, maybe 400. It's somewhere in that range. So yeah, we pretty much killed about 15, 1600 Banshees in that time. Thank you guys for tuning in to episode 12 of the Hardcore Iron Man Reborn series. Really hope you guys enjoyed and I apologize for a bit of a wait on this video. 
But, you know, this grind was pretty long, and I wasn't avidly at Banshees, as you could tell. I was off doing other stuff, questing, you know, clue scrolls, all that stuff as well. Trying to get a bunch of other stuff done, just so I wouldn't, you know, burn out from just sitting there. Because I'm not really playing multiple accounts at once. But anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, let me know, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.